Welcome back to another review of Take Me Out Food Reviews. I'm Amanda. I'm Brian. And today we are viewing Michelangelo's Eggplant Parmesan. Because I can't say it, she did. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so just looking at it, for the, we're coming, I like veggie dishes. Some people would call people like us uh, flexitarians. I think that's a dumb term. I just like a lot of vegetarian and vegan meals. And this one right here is ugly but tasty is my general opinion of it. We've had it a couple yeah. times. It, yeah, I will say it's ugly but it's tasty because like, of course everyone knows stock photos look absolutely amazing but the product you pull out of the oven is not so pretty. Yeah. Each serving is about 240 calories a cup so uh, six servings per tray. The marinara sauce is good. The uh, eggplant is uh, ug uggo, but tasty. They just, they have breaded it and it is not peeled, which is fine, fine by me. Just if you're expecting the plant to be peeled or you're expecting no breading, you got out of luck there. But I am killing it because I'm freaking hungry. It's really good though, despite the fact that it's not the most prettiest thing in the world. Yep. And again, but then again, this came from the freezer section at Costco, so mm -hmm. you know. Meaning it's probably high quality. Generally, you like. I don't think we've filled anything out of Costco's freezer section yet that we hated. I think the worst was a meh, and that was like the French toast pizzas from, uh, yeah. yeah. Which is one of our first reviews. Check that video out. Yeah. Yeah. Eggplant in general is a, it is a fun berry. It's, it comes from the nightshade family along with tomatoes, and mixing it with tomatoes, putting marinara sauce on it, it's a good vegetarian dish. We have some fresh eggplants here at home too, so I'm excited to have uh, this dish again, but but done up up nice by you. <laughs> yes, and an actual uh, an actual homemade eggplant parmesan. This, but for this one though, is really not bad. Yeah, I'd say I'd give it a solid eight out of ten. It's yeah, it's good. I can scarf it down. One the one small issue we have, I'm not is the top cooks a little faster than the bottom, so we kind of have to cook it a little hard. But no, it, it it's all around decent, and I, I think it's yeah. You know, I I don't know if it if it had a, a little more Parmesan cheese at the top of it, I think I'd like it more, and it's a bit sloppy. I would say. Yeah, it, it is. I'm, I say mine's going to be more of a 7 out of 10 because, um, again, you know, like you want that cheese on top and like what you get with like the cheese on top is like very far few in between and it does cook a lot quicker, but you don't need to remove the film on the top because if you do, then like the actual eggplant's not going to cook. Um, I'm really going to hate too much on like the eggplant part, but... I want like the breading just like a little bit crispier. Mm -hmm. I mean, like according to the directions, like you gotta cook this for a freaking hour, at 400 degrees. So you know, yeah. yeah. I want this. I want like the. I want to be able to taste the breading a little bit more cheese now. Granted, you can put some cheese, your own uh, cheese and parmesan on top if you want to, and then put it back in the oven. You know, kind of get that a little bit melty and gooey if you wanted to, but. Yeah, and that's exactly what I mean about it being sloppy. The breading and the way it cooks. I'm not sure if there's any cooking geniuses out there, but the way it's set up, the breading is almost always mushy. But not not in a way that that's a complete deal breaker. That's why I said 8 out of 10. It, could, it, loses, it loses points for... It could use a better cheese blend on the top, and it could use a better breading situation. Those are the two didactic points. Outside of that, I still do recommend it. It's inexpensive. It's tasty. 
Yeah. I mean, I agree with those points. Cool. Um, any final say here? Um, going off what Brian say, you know, you've had this particular brand before and it turned out amazing for you. Like, however you cooked it, let us know in the comments. Um, or if this is like, like a figure secret family recipe or just a recipe for, you know, just message us, um, on our channel, you know, be like, wait to like spice this dish up. Yeah, because we got a bunch of it because we got it from Costco. Yeah. I mean, but we can eat it as is. It's fine. Yeah, it's not bad as is. Just, you know, everyone wants to give, you know, that little bit of extra prettiness and flavor to it. Yep. Because, uh, yeah, it ain't pretty, but it's good is my yeah. final say on it. All right. And uh, I'm Brian Pond. Amanda. And that has been Take Me Out Food Reviews. Please I hope today is the day we earn your subscription. We've looked at our analytics and 90% of the people who watch are subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed, I hope today's the day. <laughs> With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Woo.